guys uh, welcome to my channel today I am going to show you how to uh, set up your shipping uh, template for uh, FB and Amazon so I am very new uh, using uh, Amazon seller center uh, so I was hoping maybe this is something it can help how to set up your uh, shipping template uh, one of the reason why I want to do that, um, um, if you're able to see here, uh, I am doing this product uh, from like from my home, so um, I need to add some shipping costs because right now it shows by default when you set up uh, your listing, by default it goes to uh, pretty much uh, free sh free free delivery. So. Uh, I need to put some price in here okay so I'll walk you through it how to do that I go to here on this great uh, setting uh, and then pick shipping uh, setting okay so um, once the shipping setting um, well I have another one here so by default you can have that migrated template and what you're trying to do is create create your own uh, migrated template right and uh, I'll walk you through how I do how I did that so right here on this edit template drop down and then say copy uh, to a new template and this will uh, pretty much open up uh, to create your template here so uh, you could use uh, your you're, you're pretty much I'm using from home so this is uh, from home using uh, the warehouse location next uh, that would be uh, you need to keep it to this uh, I want to automate myself fulfillment uh, and um, I think if you want to do the seller uh, filled pr uh, prime uh, you need to fill up some other steps but just keep it the, the first one for now um, for the service, uh, shipping service, I uh, I like to pick pretty much everything. I can you know send it from any of those service, and uh, I'm right here on that region reference. Uh, by default, it will pretty much it will pick all the United States except the uh, Hawaii, uh, Alaska, and Puerto Rico. So. Uh, everything else and I'll show you how you want to define those but it will pretty much select everything so really there's nothing you can do but you can go and select whatever if you don't like that one okay so we'll keep everything the way it is and then we just next uh, premium shipping this is you're saying um, I can ship by overnight two days I can deliver it home delivery so I'm not gonna go bother with this one for now just keep it the way it is okay um, right here this is pretty much what we just domestically we are shipping so everything is you know pretty much checked and then you can confirm it my uh, my network is kind of slow okay once that template is created Okay, you can come, you see it right here, that's why I'm, uh, you guys, uh, the one I just showed you earlier, that's why it shows free economy shipping in here. So, I'm going to actually take that out, and then it said, are you sure, and I'm going to say yes. But I'll come here on this standard shipping, um, I will add my standard shipment, okay? So, you could say, um, for a standard shipping I mean, it's totally up to you how you want to put your shipping price. It depends where you are living, but I'm just, for now, just uh, um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use, uh, I don't know, 10.99. Okay. I'm not going to put a pound, but just in case, I'll just put one pound, 11. Yes. Okay. So... And then I'll add here, same thing. Okay, if I did this, um, 
this one I'll definitely do it like on 59 minutes or I'll just keep that pound this is totally up to you how you want to set that up I don't think I'm done with uh, would you know care how much you like to charge for shipping fee um, if you are doing expediting uh, okay and then you can say uh, I'm expediting it for you for I mean you can say $8.99 or $15.99 okay maybe I'm gonna use this thing uh, a template so I'll just put it like you know $10.99 And then if you are doing two days delivery, uh, definitely I'm going to crank this up, you know, for $20.99. The reason I'm doing this, like I was telling you guys, I'm very new for this uh, Amazon listing. And uh, actually I forgot to set this up and uh, there's orders coming in. And I was actually paying almost like $18. Uh, the the second order the first order was like uh, sixteen dollar for shipping I paid so I mean it's not even you know profitable for me just to do that so I add um, you know I need to add that uh, so I am not gonna do one day delivery I'm just gonna stick with this you know expediting two days delivery and then this just the standard you know and um, here, if you do an international, you can actually come up here. I only have one international, uh, and and then for this, definitely I'm gonna put that twenty twenty ninety nine, okay. Um, and also, you can add expedited, but I'm just gonna keep it with the standard. And also, you can add more uh, international shipping that you like. But for me, I'm not adding anything up. Canada and the U.S. would would enough for me for now. Um, okay, so let me see. I think I pretty much did everything the way I wanted. I just want to make sure I confirm everything. Um, so this is where I put like if it is I'm sending it to Hawaii. Uh, this is what I was actually saying earlier. So I'm, if we are doing Hawaii. Uh, Puerto Rico, Alaska, I'll charge them like $15.99. But anything else, you know, anything in the US, I'll just uh, add $10.99. Okay. And then save. Okay. So once the template is saved, uh, you would see, you will come over here. And then uh, definitely you need to change the name of the template so that way you know you have this is my my second my first one so this is where I'm at so you can come here and then uh, change okay then come over here you guys so I'm still working on this thing so I'm gonna say edit the template and uh, right here you'll come I'm gonna say this is actually my second second migration template okay right uh, that's how I name it I'm gonna do by weight that's you know per shipping weight that's okay, everything is pretty much the way I want it. And look at everything and then I'll just save. That's the step I add. I add on this uh, template. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my second one and my first one. I actually have two listings, so I'm going to use the first migration template for the first listing, the second one for uh, my second listing. Now, how are you going to apply this? Uh, you'll come here uh, and then go to manage your all inventory. 
okay so this is my first one and I'll show you um, I already did for the first one so right here I'm gonna change this to for the first template okay so right here under you just come over here and then say change shipping template okay click there and then you will ask you right here change your shipping template drop down I'm using the first one okay so it kind of depending on how you how your product if you have a very small product and your shipping is less you can create a different template for those so that's pretty much what I'm doing my second one is not bigger than the first listing so uh, that's where I created those two templates and then say continue okay so it takes almost uh, it, it's not taking 24 hours definitely I don't know an hour or two and then the, it will, you will see that update so uh, I can show you so I did uh, the first and the second again so if you go to my listing uh, well if you need any kind of baby product please go and buy my listing uh, and uh, right here you see free free delivery okay so now I'm gonna go show you the one I did uh, once you create your template and update it you will say actually I'm paying like $6.99 for this okay so uh, if it is it will give you an option to pick you know do you want to expedite it this much you know if you want to expedite it this this much you have to pay and stuff like that all right hopefully this helped uh, thank you so much for uh, watching don't forget to subscribe my channels and keep uh, keep uh, liking my videos thank you